Hey everyone, welcome back to CodeFlow. Today we're diving into Unity, specifically setting up a new 3D project to make a complete game on Roll a Ball, getting familiar with the scene, and learning how to work with 3D objects. If you're new to Unity, this video is perfect for you. Let's get started. To begin, we'll create a new project. Open Unity Hub, click on New Project, and select 3D Built-in Render Pipeline as our template. This is the most basic setup for working in 3D, giving us the flexibility to build from scratch. Let's name this project Roll a Ball and hit Create Project. Before we dive in, let's get familiar with some key windows in the Unity Editor. You might already know the console window from our previous videos, so now let's take a look at five new windows you'll be using regularly. First up, we have the Scene View. By default, you'll find it in the center of the Unity Editor. This is where you'll build and arrange your 3D environment. Think of it as your workspace for designing and editing your game world. Next is the Game View. This window is for testing, showing you how your game will look during play. It's super helpful for previewing the actual player experience. Then, we have the Hierarchy window, located on the left side of the editor. This window lists every object in your scene, almost like an outline or directory of your entire game structure. The Inspector is another key window. This is where you'll view and adjust the properties of any selected object. Different objects have unique properties, so you'll notice the Inspector's contents change based on what you're working with. Finally, there's the Project window. Here you can access all of your project assets, things like 3D models, materials, and scripts. It's basically the library for everything in your game. These windows are your main tools for building, organizing, and testing your game. So let's get comfortable with them. You can easily drag and resize any window in Unity using your mouse. If you want to separate a window, just grab it by the title bar and pull it away from the main layout. You can also rearrange any window by dragging it to a new location, which is super useful when you're working with different aspects of game design, like animation or scene building. If your layout gets too cluttered or feels messy, don't worry, you can reset everything to the default setup. Just go to the Window menu, then Layouts, and select Default to bring everything back to the starting arrangement. Now, let's take a look at what we have in the hierarchy. You'll see the main camera and the directional light. When you select them, they'll also select it in the Scene view. It's time to create our first visible game object. So, in the hierarchy, right-click, go to 3D Object, and you'll find a variety of options to add to your scene. Let's start with a plane. When you add any game object, it will show up in the Scene view and be added to the hierarchy. You can rename it to something like Ground. Just select it and press F2 on your keyboard to rename it. If you want to focus on your game object in the Scene view, simply double-click it in the hierarchy. This is especially useful if your scene is large and filled with many objects, as it lets you quickly focus on any one of them. To navigate the Scene view, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Hold the middle mouse button to pan around and hold the right mouse button while using the W, S, D keys to move around the scene like you would in a game. Now let's inspect our game object. When you select a game object in the hierarchy, its properties will appear in the inspector panel. In the scene view, you'll notice three colored lines representing the axis in 3D space. This is the gizmo, which shows the reference for the axes. You can move the game object by simply clicking and dragging the colored axes. As you move it, you'll see the position values change in the inspector for the respective axis. 
If something goes wrong with your game object's transform, you can reset it by clicking the three-dot menu in the top right corner of the inspector. You can also use the Rotate tool to rotate the object along any axis, or you can manually enter the rotation values in the inspector. Let's now add another game object to the scene. Right-click in the hierarchy, go to 3D Object, and select Sphere. By default, its origin isn't centered, but you can easily reset the transform. Then, move it along the y-axis to place it on top of the plane or ground. You can also scale any game object using the Scale tool. To scale it equally on all axes, drag from the center or drag along individual axes to scale it specifically. Now, take some time to play around with your game objects and modify them. Don't be afraid to experiment. Practice the techniques you've learned so far. Finally, to start playing the game, just click the play button. This activates the game view where you can test your game. Right now it's static, but in our next video, we'll add materials and make the ball move. To stop the game, click the play button again. In the game view, you can also change the resolution of your game. If you're designing for mobile, you can select a mobile resolution. You can also arrange the game view side by side with the scene view so that as you design, you can see the changes reflected immediately. How's everyone doing so far? If you're having any trouble with this video, feel free to leave a comment below. You can also find a written article for this video. Check the link in the description. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel.